Hi, it's Crow Fisher from hereonearth.ca with the final segment from the King City Group Session with Red and the Council of Elders from January 2018. This wise and hopeful conversation looks at time, where we're at in the universe, our Earth slowing down, how this is affecting us as a society, as people, as evolving human beings. There is so much wisdom and insight in this conversation that can be applicable in a very practical way for our world right now. These are important understandings for the times we are going through. And I hope that you all can benefit from this. If you're interested in more teachings from the Council, we have a whole buffet of universal wisdom at hereonearth.ca. There's something for everyone, something to satisfy every curiosity. Visit us. Enjoy this. Red, according to scientists, Earth is slowing down, which might bring some Earth changes in the near future. They are talking about 2008. Please. Where you are in the universe right now um, is different. Hey, so the thing is the way your scientists are looking at it, they're imagining that, uh, you know, if this is a trend, the trend will continue in this way, and it's not. Hey, so where you're at right now, this is the rhythm for this part of the universe. Hey, and the rhythm you were in, in the other part of the universe. So you can think of it as, um, um, <laughs> coming through like a membrane. Yeah. Some call it jumping universes. Yeah. So the rhythm of this part of the universe has a different effect on your sun, and you see much more activity in your sun. Yeah. And it has an effect on the gravitational field around your sun, which then affects uh, how your planet is turning. Yeah. All planets yeah, are also appears to be slowing down. Think of it more as you're matching the rhythm of this part of the um, uh, magnetic flow of the universe. This part of the river that you're in is a little slower. Not much, yeah, but a little slower. Yeah. So, yeah, so what's happening with this magnetic field of Earth? Because it influences our uh, yes. emotions. Yes, it's adjusting. Hey. Mm. So the Earth itself is adjusting hey, to this place in the universe. Hey, and humanity is adjusting. Mm -hmm. So patterns, you can think of it as DNA patterns or societal patterns that we call the pyramid patterns, that uh, the slavery patterns basically, hey, who have been enveloping your planet, coded into your DNA. Hey, uh, you know, for all of that time as you're traveling through that area of the universe, as you come into this place in the universe, those codes aren't here, you see. So they're dissipating within humanity. Hey! And things you never noticed before you're noticing now. Hey! Things that were acceptable before are no longer acceptable. Yes! Because it is undoing itself in this part of the universe. Hey, the magnetic field is not holding those patterns clamped around Earth. Hey, so it's dissipating. Yes, mm -hmm. and as it dissipates, you wake up, and you start looking around, and you say, it doesn't have to be like this. <laughs> I don't have to feel this terrible. It's okay to be happy. Yes, it's okay to respect each other. Hey, you're beginning to see the possibility of how humans can live together, aren't you? Hey! And you're beginning to see, you just might make it. Yes! <laughs> and it's funny, because it really does look like the worst of all times, doesn't it? Hey! No! Hey! So already you can see where you have entered this part of the universe since 2012 suddenly you have incredible potential of what is available. Ideas, options, possibilities. Hey, it has opened right up. 
and humanity has not yet chosen, have they? What they want to do, where they want to go, how they want to exist, how they want to live, how they want their villages and societies to be. So this, what you call smorgasbord, hey, this feast, this buffet of potential is available to all, hey, and time is different in this part of the universe. You're going to find sometimes it stretches and then sometimes it condenses. Hey, and then it stretches and it condenses. And they will do that. Hey, it's a funny part of the universe you're in. But it has incredible potential for harmony. Incredible potential for diversity to grow, for exploration. Hey, so as you're witnessing this period now, where all you could think of it as all the stuff hey, that has accumulated, has gone wrong hey, uh, from your last journey is all coming to the surface because it cannot be held in the magnetic field of the earth anymore. You see? Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yes. Hey, patterns, societal patterns, behaviors, ways of thinking no longer fit. Hey. You see, because the energy of the, what we call the draconian star systems that had a big influence in the latter part of your journey as a planet no longer exist. Hey, you see. So as you wake up out of this and you start realizing that what you've been taught is reality, what you've been taught is the way things are, was wrong. It's and the actuality of it, the way things are, is yet to be determined by each one of you individually. And out of each one of you individually determining how things will be, you have the collective determination. And that is what makes civilizations. Hey, in the old pattern, one person would come with one idea and would coerce everyone into that one idea, whether it was through brainwashing techniques, uh, through starvation, through terrorizing. The agreement was everybody would agree to this one person's idea and would follow along that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. This part of the universe does not allow that, you see. So it is what is collectively agreed upon becomes reality. Eh? So you're looking and you're seeing we have this potential and that potential and this could happen and we could do that and that looks really lovely. And you're activating, you see, future DNA by what you're focusing on, you see. Yeah. And that gets activated in people around you and they can choose. Do I want to feed this idea of possibility or do I want to stay with this one? Yes, and they are choosing. And for the next seven years, it's a period of choice. Yay! Hey. Until you collectively can see we have consensus as a society here. This is what we want. Yay! Hey. This point, this point, this point, this point. Then you get to see over the next 10 generations how it plays out. Did it work? Hey, you see. So that's where you're at right now. Hey, awakening the potential DNA for your future generations. Hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. Would it be helpful if people get together and talk about the future potential? Absolutely, because then you got something to focus on. Yeah. Hey. Mm -hmm. And I gotta tell you, you got a whole bunch of young ones that are just sitting there waiting. Can somebody please tell us where we're going? Yes. <laughs> what are we supposed to do? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. But as the younglers start waking up, hey, maybe. <laughs> mm -hmm. They can start working together. Yes. Because yeah. you've got potential here. you got so many folks. Yeah. 
so eager, so ready, so hungry for a different world. Isn't that so? So hungry for a world that they can feel like they are included in, that they are part of. Hey, you're all missing your forest, aren't you? Hey, you're missing being part of your forest. Hey. So the work involved for each individual hey, is to stop worrying about whether you're going to reach your potential. Worrying about whether you've been good enough or done good enough. That is all part of the old patterning. You were born good enough. You are children of the Creator. It doesn't get any better than that. Yes? You are each individual dreams manifested as a physical being. You have the great gift this earth has given you of a human body. And they are pretty amazing things, human bodies. Hey, I've had a few of them over <laughs> my lifetimes. Hey, hey, you can't make love in spirit like you can in a human body. Yes, <laughs> you can't taste the fruit. Hey, yes, physicality has a lot of beautiful gifts that are offered. And the biggest one is you get to see what your potential is. Hey, you get to see what you look like. Hey, hey, you see. And you get to see how you get along with others. Hey. So your potential as a society uh, in this country that you're in right now is pretty good potential, don't you think? Mm -hmm. You happen to live in a society that has people and DNA and lineages from every song Hey, every cuisine, every story, and that's so. all. Yes. You have all of the potentials of the entire earth all together in one little country here. That's pretty good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what you get to create out of that. Hey, what kind of society you can create. Hey, and I think you older ones need to be listening to the younger ones to find out what they need. Hey. How come they're not thriving? Hey, so find out what do they need? How can we help them? Because it's always been the role of the elders, hey, to help the young ones establish themselves. Hey, and I think they're feeling pretty abandoned right now. Hey, so I got your work cut out for you, eh? <laughs> okay, so. It was a real pleasure to meet with everybody tonight. Yeah. And we know it's not easy times. So spend your time talking to those birds and those trees. Remember who you are. Remember you're children of creation. You're capable of anything. Yeah. You just need the support around you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you, Rod. You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure indeed. And also for those uh, uh, who don't know us so well, uh, we are always available. Always. Your mind is able to connect to the cosmos. You are equipped, each one of you, to do this. Yeah. It's a matter of saying, could I please have an answer to this question? Yes? That's all. You see, you have to instigate it. Yes? And you'll either hear us or we'll drop a book. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Or a podcast. Yes? We'll find some way to get the answer to you for any question you ask. Okay. This is the final section for the King City Group session. I really hope you enjoyed them all. If you want more, there's plenty at www.hereonearth.ca. Visit us at Facebook, Conversations with Red and the Council of Elders, on Twitter, Here on Earth CA.